I'm doing good, Morgan. How you doing? Uh, by the way, welcome to Zamora Gaming. I'm your host, Joe, and along with me is my co-host, Morgan, Oko Gaming. And we can All go right. ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go! Alright, I'm on the move. I got some catching up to do. I'm oh, a yeah. little behind. And I'm battling the my uh, rival, well, one of the rivals, the fairy dude. Or chick. The fairy dude. Oh, yeah. Or the whatever fairy it's dude. supposed to be. Be Beady. Beady. Bead. Beady. Bead. I said Beady the first time, too. Yeah, I don't know what his name's supposed to be. And, uh, I remember when we were talking to Dusty about him, he actually did some pretty cool, uh, like, unnecessary backstory because I didn't realize oh, really? huh? I didn't realize that all of his Pokemon when you first battle them a couple times they're just pure psychic type but after he becomes like uh, an apprentice to the fairy gym leader he starts having psychic fairy types and fairy types after that huh so yeah I, uh, I, I think I noticed that so like right now I'm battling Hatina and it's a pure psychic. <clears throat> but its final evolution is part fairy as well. Oh uh, yeah, that is pretty cool. Well, you said you wanted to um, start with a topic that I thought was pretty funny, so... Um, oh yeah, this topic is going to be hilarious. Why don't you go ahead and drop that on him? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so... The topic we're going to start with is Annoying things our women do in the car when we're going places. Now is this is this driving or passenger or both? Uh, passenger most of the time because my wife doesn't really like to drive, so I'm, oh, really? I'm normally the one driving. Mine's the same way; she doesn't like to drive either. Which which is a good trait, but you know, normally when the person who's driving is supposed to be in charge of the radio. Oh God, we have the same argument in the air conditioning. She'll change the air conditioning. <laughs> Cause I swear, like, she doesn't have any fucking blood flow to her extremities. Her hands and feet are like literal ice packs, dude. She put her hand on my leg earlier and it, it literally felt like I had an ice pack on my hand. Oh, so dude. she'll change the shit all the time, bake me out. It fucking kills me. Oh, my wife's the same way. She'll go to the restroom, wash her hands, and apparently not dry them. And they'll be cold as hell when she tries to touch me. <laughs> But nice. uh, specifically in the car, um, we'll be driving and she'll connect her phone to the Bluetooth and she'll listen to the same three, four songs she always listens to every time we get in the car, no matter how far or how close the destination is, she'll play the, <laughs> she'll play the well, what four songs is it? What four songs is it? <laughs> That's all, really important. All songs of music genres that I really don't like. <laughs> Uh, uh, fair enough. She'll, she'll play Cardi B. She'll play Snow the Product. I don't know what Snow the Product is. Dude, another, Cardi B. It's all rappers. She listens to a bunch of rap music. and so, That's not the only thing she listens to, which, thank God. But those are the You main. said Snow the Product? Yeah, she's a Mexican rapper. Oh, it sounds like it means cocaine. Yeah, you would think. I mean, I'm, not, I'm assuming... Does it not, in fact, mean cocaine? I mean, I don't know. I couldn't guarantee you that. Babe, I need to ask you a question real quick. Does Snow the product, is that a reference to cocaine? No? For sure. Okay, apparently not. Oh. <laughs> That's what I said. <laughs> it's either cocaine or snow cones. Uh, snow cones. Mexicans love their raspas. What is a blaspas? A raspa is a snow cone. <laughs> Oh, really? That's just the Mexican word for snow cone. Nice. Were you the one that taught me how to say daddy wants milk? Was it you? <laughs> no, it wasn't. It wasn't. It was I don't think so, but that's funny as shit. Is papi quieres leche? Does that mean <laughs> daddy wants milk? Yes, it Is that does. right? Fuck yeah. That's papa like... Papa quieres leche. Papa <laughs> quieres leche. Yes. Why would you ever want to know that? Why the fuck would you not? <laughs> is the real question. How is, oh. how is how do you not need to know Papi Kira's leche in I mean, in your day to day life? 
I mean, what what does that refer to? What do you mean? I want some fucking milk. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? So you're gonna go up to, so you're gonna go up to a random ass Hispanic person, and just go, Papa quiere leche. <laughs> if, they, if they're holding some milk, if they got that crane. First thing they're gonna do is look at you and be like, "Your dad wants leche," and they're gonna be like, "No, no I." I'm gonna say, "Mi papa." Yeah, that's gonna be like my dad. Wait, what is it? Is it is it yo soy papa? Yo soy papa. Yeah, that means I'm daddy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I took Spanish. <laughs> I took Spanish. Uh, that's funny. Yeah, mi papa is like my dad, but if you're like. Soy papa, that means I'm daddy. Yo soy papa. Or you and know, I am. Or if you want to get kinky with it, you could be like, Papacito quieres leche. What does that mean? My nipples? No, that's just like daddy. That's more daddy. Uh, papa is just like dad. But... Papacito oh, and what is like daddy? daddy? What is it? Papacito. Papacito quieres leche. <laughs> That's way better, yes. It, it sounds more sexual, don't it? <laughs> yes, it really does. I'm like, I'm liking it. Oh, Can't man. wait to say that when I get back to work. That's what I say walking around work all day. I say dumb shit like that. Or have you been battling all the trainers in the in the in the cave? Yeah, I battled all them, but I'm not really battling the trainers outside the cave because I really don't need to. My, my... I'm battling them all. I'm battling all of them. Well, then you're gonna lose. The race? You think I'm gonna lose? I'm gonna kick your ass in when we play each other, though. It's gonna. We're gonna do even levels. It's gonna be automatic fifty, so there's no point to being over leveled. Oh, ball sack. That's whack. When, when did we? When did we agree on that? Plus, well, it's it's automatic. Oh no, it's not. We can play with the levels we're on. Yeah, but that's kind of lame. No, I protest that we do that because I've been uh, I've been grinding since we started. Well, I've been grinding too, but I don't want to be over level for the gyms and it not be a challenge. I thought we had a level cap per gym. Yeah, we do. You got to follow the level cap, but yeah, level twenty you, is the level cap. I'm at level eighteen. Right, yeah, but if, but whoever gets to the first gym, so if you get to the gym first, and then I get to the gym and beat it, you're gonna get, keep playing until until I beat it, and then we battle. So you, you could be level twenty four, and I could be twenty, and that'd be the penalty of whatever happens. That's that's drastic. All right. I mean, I'm gonna be winning. Yeah, I'm anyway. trying to make it. I'm trying to make it. It rough. You're trying to lose quick, is what you're doing. <laughs> oh my gosh, no! It's for the content. I don't even care if I lose. You know what, Joe? I've got a spoon. Oh yeah. Yeah, I've got a spoon. You can save it for somebody else, cause you ain't eating this ass. That's all I got. To say. I don't know, man. I don't know. <laughs> I beg to differ. Oh, but we we completely forgot about you. What's the most annoying thing your girl does in the car? Um, well, she, when she, for one, she can't fucking drive. Just period. <laughs> all around. She waits till the last fucking second to stop. And, and, like, no matter what situation we're in. And, uh, other than that, really just grabbing the radio and shit. Let me think of something. She leaves trash in my car. I'm a really clean person, and she's a really fucking messy person. Yeah. And she'll leave, like, trash in my doors and shit. Because her car is a fucking disaster. Mine's not like that. So... She'll leave her shit, and I gotta clean it up. She'll leave my fucking charger port cover left off, and it'll get crumbs and shit in it because I don't ever use it, so I don't think to close it. Yeah. What else does she do? Damn, man, she does a lot more annoying shit than I can think of. <laughs> I'm gonna cause an argument later. <laughs> You're just gonna go into the yeah. living room. You know what? You need to stop yeah, fucking oh, around in my car. <laughs> yeah, for real, though. <laughs> she does. Oh, I tell man. her that all the time, man. But yeah, I just got a new car, so I'm being like extra clean freak about it, cause like my my first car I didn't really care about, cause it was like, well not that I didn't care, but someone hit the side, and at that point I was just like, you know what, I really yeah, don't fuck fuck about this car anymore. It can't get any worse than that. Okay, that new uh, what is it? It's a you said it's a Rav Four. Yeah, it's a 2020 Rav Four. I just got it. It looks pretty big for a Rav Four. Oh, it is. It's bigger than the normal Rav Four, and I love it because of it. And it's not like you know how the Rav Fours have like a round body. This yeah. Rav Four is more like square body, and that's why I got yeah, it. Yeah, I like it. I, li I like it. 
It looks like the new Explorers, kind of. Mm-hmm. And that's what I really liked. And uh, I told my buddy uh, I used to work with, I was like, hey, bro, I just got a RAV4. It looks beast. Like, it looks like it looks mean and everything. And he was like, RAV4? That's a bitch car. I was like, what do you mean? <laughs> yeah, that's a bitch car. He was like, that's a woman car. I was like, not the one I got. I know which one you're thinking about, but this, that's not the one. And I was like, look it up. He was like, all right, I'm going to look it up. Cause that's a female car right there, and I was like, "All right, you'll see. It's not." Yeah. The it, old one. I mean, I don't. I drive a fucking Chevy Sonic, dude. Do you know what that is? The little car, like. Oh, electric? it's it's not little little. It's a. You're thinking of the Spark. I don't drive the Spark. I drive a Sonic. Sydney drives a Ford Fusion. Do you all have two vehicles, or do you have? We have two just... vehicles. Uh, I don't approve of my wife's car. But... Oh, what does she have? She has a Ford Focus. Oh, why? Because it's a Ford? You just yeah. don't approve of it before? Yeah, basically. I had a Ford Escape for a long time, and it was a fucking piece of shit. But then again, I can't really complain about Ford. Because, uh... She's had that car within the time frame that I've had, like, three cars. My Ford sucked. I'm not saying her car never got fixed up, because I've had to pay to get it fixed multiple times. But... Uh... I had a Pontiac that was overdriven and by the time I got it I had to suffer all the consequences and pay all the damage and stuff and then uh, yeah. after that car I got a PT Cruiser and then that's when the drunk driver hit it like it was I just I had it almost to perfect condition and then boom I get hit in it so it's just like I have no luck with cars have you gotten to the how far from the first gym is is after like bead and stuff because I'm battling bead now, but my guys are like level 16 and shit. So I mean, you can go straight to it like I did because I'm battling are, the gym. Are right you now. at the gym now? Yeah, I'm not doing the gym leader yet, but I'm in the gym. Oh, cool. So you just went straight to it from here? Yeah, I didn't battle all the side people. All right, sweet. I'm not gonna battle the side people then. Well, I think I want to do, I'd really rather do the level thing. You want to do level 50? I prefer. But you're the one who was saying you wanted to risk it. And I was like, hey, it's fine. I'm ahead. I think it's I'm a cool, cool idea. <laughs> I think it's a cool idea. I mean, all my Pokemon right, were level fine. 18, so. We can do level 50, I guess. That's fine. I mean, <laughs> you're at a disadvantage, not me. It's up to you. Yeah. Yeah, we can, we'll do level 50, I guess. <laughs> Alright. That's the one. I've been battling all these motherfuckers. I, I battled, well, I guess you, like I said, I battled still, everyone up to the cave. Yeah, you still have to battle or you'll be underleveled, so. But I'm not trying to go over level 20 before I hit the gym. That's the only reason. I, I'm doing all the battles. Oh, shit. I'm not doing oh, all those trainer battles, like, right before the city. Yeah. I tried to hit Metal Claw. So, just just in case, uh, you know, this is the first episode people are watching, why don't you give them a rundown of your team again? Alright, so my team is Galarian Meowth, Bliplug, uh, Galarian Ponyta, uh, Farfetch'd, and Score Bunny. Uh, Galarian Farfetch'd. You know? Yeah, so awesome. It's you know? like the it's the least favorite of my favorite from the new gen because I've played <laughs> through these games twice and used a different team each time, so I've never used these guys. I was trying to go for like a Viking theme until I ran out of Viking themed people, Viking themed Pokemon. And how perfect are the legendaries for that Viking theme? I know, right? But I'm not gonna use them, so. And, uh, you ever watch Vikings? Have you seen, uh, did you see the trailer for the new Assassin's Creed Valhalla? Um, I've seen it, but not really remembering it. Dude, it looks so fucking good. You play, have you played any Assassin's Creed games? I played the first one and a little bit of the third one, but... The first three were really good. Odyssey was really good. Um, Syndicate shit. Those are the ones I've played that I thought were really good. There's other ones I've played I can't remember, but, uh... Yeah, dude, this one looked really good. You should go watch the trailer for it. Did you ever watch the show Vikings? 
No, uh, I I knew somebody who was real into it, but I never watched it. Yeah, I just finished it. It is so fucking good, dude. I had no idea it was that good. Did you ever watch Game of Thrones? No, nah, not one episode. Oh, really? Wow. Why? Why is that? I don't have HBO. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we never watched it on HBO. We always waited until it came out, and her dad would, uh, he always buys it on DVD, buys the whole thing, so we just wait. Mm, yeah. I, I, I thought you, it would be on Hulu or something, but I don't ever see it, so I was just like, I'm it not going to watch it. It is on Hulu, but you have to have, a, like, some kind of HBO subscription type deal. Yeah, and I talked to my, me and my wife talked about it, and we are just like, and mm, maybe that's not worth it. <laughs> One show's oh, well, not worth can- it. You can get on there and get like a month uh, free subscription yeah. or a week free or some shit. So we, you could binge it if you wanted to. It's only seven seasons. It's not that much. I thought it was eight. It's seven. Oh. And and like the last three or four seasons are only like less. They're like less than ten episodes a season. So it's not very much, but very fucking good. The ending's a little. Yeah, hey, I've heard about really that. People about the ending. So what? I don't mind the spoiler. What exactly happened in the ending? Okay, so they build up through the entire show. They build up this like dragon queen princess, and uh, she's she's like she controls dragons, and dragons haven't been seen in the the continent they're on is called Westeros, and dragons haven't been seen in Westeros for a really long time. Mm-hmm. So uh, she gets these dragon eggs, and she's she's known as the mother of dragons, and she's she starts off and she's like really good. She frees slaves and shit. Like she's a really like good person and she becomes queen and all this stuff so it's like the whole thing is i mean there's opposing kingdoms everybody wants the crown so i mean it's a game of thrones that's why they call it that but in the end there's this guy that that they build up as well um who ends up turns out he's like he's like her brother but they're banging and (laughs) and, i heard about that. that yeah, they fall in love, and, and uh, at the end, like, when they go, it's, like, the climactic scene, and they go to conquer the, the capital of Westeros. Like, that. this is this is what they've been trying to do. Wait, I, hang on. Time out. What, what is the gym challenge thing? Why can't I go in the gym right away? What do I have to do again? I didn't read shit. I don't know. I was able to go straight to the gym. Oh, you got to go talk to Sonya at the, at the thing. Top of the hill. What's, oh, yeah, I didn't talk to – okay, but – uh. They build it up and they go back to they go to this climactic scene where they're gonna conquer Westeros, and uh, she like unnecessarily slaughters like tons of innocent people, and uh, like her dad was known as the Mad King, uh-huh. so uh, everybody was like, okay, so she's just gonna be a Mad Queen. They were calling her the Mad Queen and shit, and then uh, so Jon Snow, the guy they build up, and turns out it's her her brother. Um, he has to he kills her. He kills her last, like at the end of it, and uh, everybody just hated all that. I don't, I don't know why. I mean, I didn't think it was that bad. I thought it was pretty cool. I knew he was gonna kill her. I'd have killed that bitch. She had to go. <laughs> she had to go. She was. Go- you know what? Actually, fuck that bitch. <laughs> no, no, I don't think I would have killed her. I, I think I'd have been like, I don't know, man. She killed. She killed lots of people. I you could, know, yeah, you, I'd kill her. Fuck you, that bitch. You would have been she's like, I go. love her. I could turn her around. No, nah, she's gotta go. She's gotta go. Yeah, she was oh, crazy. That was, she, that was she made good. a mistake. That's all the... <laughs> the dragons are cool, though. But then this whole time that all this is happening, they also have, like, these things that are called White Walkers, which are, like, frost zombies. Oh, I was about to say, that and, sounds uh, racist as shit. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. They're night, night walkers, so they're, like, I don't know, they're just zombie ice creatures. But the the leader of them, they're called, like, the Night King. And he'll he like kept, kills one of her dragons and revives it as like this giant ice dragon, and yeah. z- ice zombie dragon. Dude, it's really good. So it's, it's Skyrim good, so. as a show. Um, yeah, yeah. in a way, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Cause I like that yeah. game. Dude, Skyrim's the shit. I put in so many hours of that whenever it came out on the 360. Mm-hmm. But uh, I haven't played it in a really long time. I've been playing it on the on the Switch, but I haven't played it in a long ass time either. Yeah, there's a, so much shit to do on that game. I need to rebuy it. I don't, I don't have it anymore. Still well, $60. I have it for 360, but I, I have it for 360, but I don't have it for uh. <clears throat> Any other system? Console. Yeah. 
I need to get it again. Did, did you just say it's sixty dollars? It's still sixty dollars. Really? Yeah, believe it or not, I I went huh. to buy it and it was sixty bucks. I was like, fuck. I feel like I could get it used cheaper than that. I went to GameStop. I got it yeah. used. It was sixty dollars. Oh, really? Sixty dollars used. Yeah. I was like, hey, this is uh, bullshit, right? And they're like, no, it's it's a real thing. No, well, that's what it is. <laughs> oh, speaking of... Oh, I forgot to... about these stupid fucking mini games to get into the gym. Have you beat the gym leader yet? No, I'm fighting him right now. That's what I was just about to interrupt you for. Alright, guys, if you see, I am about to battle the gym leader. Morgan is clearly a step behind. But we're going to go ahead and take on Milo and fuck him up! Make sure you guys are watching both channels, too. If you're watching mine, check out Joe's, and if you're watching Joe's, check out mine. We'll have the links in the description below, so no worries. It'll be easy to find. Keep up for when I beat Joe's ass. Oh, He's, no. I don't understand having to push sheep around. I don't get this. I don't understand why I had to do this. Because that's what Irish people do. They push sheep they around. Push... Wait, shepherds. he's Irish? Well, aren't, ain't this based in uh, Ireland? Or is it Great Britain? I forget. It's... It's the UK, it's supposed to be. Is the UK Ireland too? I believe. Yeah, I don't know. United Kingdom. Hey, babe. Uh, Irish is part of the UK, right? Or is it just British? <laughs> <laughs> She's looking at me stupid as fuck. Yeah, is is like Irish. Ireland? No, I know Ireland's a thing, but like oh. Irish is Irish. Heritage is part of the UK, right? Yeah. No, you you look like a Mexican to me, but still, jeez. You you said you were smart, so I was asking you a smart question. Just coming to you for answers. I know. No, you don't know. Well, I'm sure there's uh, Ireland heritage in these games. That is so Australian. <laughs> Oh, man. <laughs> oh shit, he even caught it. She, he's like, what the fuck? <laughs> That's Australia. Boy, mate. Oh man, she's special. I love her though. Why well, I love you. Don't give me like that. Iris is somebody that took a shit in the toilet. Somebody took a shit in the toilet. They did it. It was push. one of them. Go get to me a shamrock and a fucking drink. I need some whiskey. Or no. Oh. oh wait, yeah, that's Irish whiskey. Uh, Scotland is Scot Scotch. Is is Irish whiskey? Yeah, Ireland. Well, I mean, America makes whiskey too, but I think it originated from Ireland. Again, I I'm talking out of my ass here, so I could be wrong. So no. Yeah. <laughs> Again, <laughs> I don't know the fuck I'm talking about. So. <laughs> so I may be Nine. right, but <laughs> assume I'm wrong, please. Goddamn dogs. I'm not a paro. I'm talking about these stupid fucking yankers running around fucking up my sheep or anyone. Oh yeah, they put me a little bit behind too. But, I'm, uh, almost done. I'm about to land the finishing blow on the gym leader at 23 ah. minutes. So, Max Flair, here we come. Chime Million I just got is wrecking the Fucking... This trainer just caught me. Well, I'm not too far behind you, so. No, I mean, not right now. You were. Oh, so that means this next episode, we're going to be doing a battle, it looks like. Yeah, as soon as you finish. Well, it, at this, at the end of this episode, really, unless you want to save it. Well, yeah, I'd stay in the next one. <laughs> okay. we're, at 20, we're at 24 minutes right now, so I'd say by the end of the gym battle, I'll be over 30 minutes. All right, so we'll go ahead and... Uh, I, I, be, I beat the gym. I, I got the badge. Uh, I'm going to get the uniform and everything. Because I'm a fucking oh. boss. Sweet. So. I'm battling. I'm on the last little sheep wrangling thing. So what we'll do is we'll just wait for you to finish beating the gym leader. And then we'll end the episode then. So yeah. it's not yeah, in the yeah. middle of the episode. Sounds good. And we have the gym badge. All right, guys. As a more gaming, we are ahead, so that's a point for us because we got the gym badge first. And, and how did you say you want to do differential? So, <clears throat> what did you say you want to do with it? 
So we'll do differentials like we do for draft league. Um, you, but we won't do negative difference. Well, you know what? Let's just do it this way. Plus three for wins, zero for loss to make it easy. All right, that works. And then one point for making it to the gym first. Yeah. Or beating the gym first. All right, sounds good. <laughs> so right now I'm at one point and Morgan is at zero. This stupid sheep mini game. I miss just battling. I'm glad they took away trials. That shit was super dumb. Yeah, I didn't like trials either, but it was it was fun while it lasted, I guess. I didn't think. I mean, I can see for kids, and I, I don't want to be one of those fans that are like bitching about a kids game. But I did not like trials. I am trials one of those were... fans. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I am the toxic fan base. <laughs> it is me. All right, guys. Uh, and he's a more gaming people watching Morgan. Make sure he's not over level twenty, because that's cheating. I'm not over level twenty. <laughs> I know. My uh, my Charmeleon just hit level twenty after we beat the gym leader. Well, it doesn't matter anyway, because you're hitting fifty. What? Or we're oh. we're doing the fifty. We're, we're playing at fifty, so. Yeah, but we don't want the be. gyms to be too easy either. <clears throat> See what you're saying. Alright, let's do Even this. though, even with level caps, these gyms are pretty fucking easy. Yeah, for sure. But I'm about to get one of my favorite Pokemons right here right now. So what did you say your team is? Alright, yeah, I didn't get to go over that earlier. Um, My team, I'm not going to go over the nicknames, but it's Charmander, Galarian Ponyta, Joltik, uh... Dreepy, Kufant, and Bulbasaur. And they'll have cute nicknames if you pay attention to my video. I didn't I didn't nickname. I wish I would have. This wasn't meant to this wasn't supposed to happen. My whole team's shiny and I bred them all myself. I had to soft reset forever for fucking Drake's ult. He means he hacked them all. Okay. I can't <laughs> hack, I wish I could. Nah. He bred them. I had to wait until he was done to do this. So. Yeah, he caught me mid mid go. I was doing it for my own thing, but this is much probably much more entertaining. Oh man, I, I just realized hmm. I can't get this toxel that I'm receiving right now. And now, I mean, you can't use it. No, I know. I am. Uh, I mean, you can get those Pokemon if you want. Get them oh. and just store them. I'm gonna get stuff like that and keep them. I keep stuff like that. Yeah, I got it. Oh, and I got EXP candies just to, so I don't have to grind. That's cool. I mean, there's... damn, I do not have a single fucking fire move on my Raboot. On your Raboot? Yeah. That's the name of that thing, Raboot. Yeah, the, the second evolution, Raboot. That's lame. Yeah, that's a little silly. They could have given her a better name. So where you at right now in the gym? I am fighting uh, Gossifor. I, I, I've started my gym battle. I'm fighting Milo. Alright. <clears throat> We're at a steady 28 minutes. So that means as soon as Morgan is done, we'll be finishing episode right. 3? Yes, this is episode 3. Dopest... And I, I kind of like how my team's all set at a pretty even level. Uh, I need to switch out this Charmeleon because level 21 and everyone else is like 18. <laughs> well, aside from a few. Yeah, all mine are under 20 right now. My highest is 18. But just know, guys, uh, start of the next episode, it's for the main event of the first gym. Because me and Morgan will be battling it out to see who will win with our team as it stands. And winner gets plus three points. So plus one to anybody who beats the gym first, and then plus three to whoever wins the post-gym battle. And so also, possibility of four points. And also, uh, the winner gets to choose which one of the opponent's Pokemon loses a life. And the most, the most times they can choose a Pokemon to lose a life is two times, since they get three lives. Yes, each Pokemon gets three lives. So, like, if I were to lose... Oh, man, I have Charmeleon and Ivysaur. I 
forgot to switch those this whole time. There we go. Now that's better on the screen. But, um, so, like, for a chance, if he beats me, he can choose Trimillion to lose a life. And then if he beats me the second gym, he can choose Trimillion to lose a second life. But he can't faint him all three time, all three lives that I have. Fair. Fair rules. Alright, we're just at the 30 minute mark, and I'm about to take out Milo now, so... Alright, I'm kind of grinding on these little trainers. <clears throat> Here on Route 5, in front of the... The what you call it. And in between All the... Right. Loop, and I have defeated Milo. Alright, well, I guess that's the end of this episode. Well, hold on one second. Let me get out of this, all oh. this, and we'll end it there. Oh, yeah. I was just seeing if you wanted to say anything before the outro. Um, no, not yet. Give me one second. Coming down. And we have gotten the first batch. We are a little behind, but we're about to kick Zamora's ass, so it's, it's going to be all right. Oh, no. Morgan's about to get o code if you know what I mean. Oh, the puns. <laughs> the puns. <laughs> right, I'm eating to shake his hand now. Super Jack Grass Trainer. Well, I, I guess Morgan whooped out the big spoon on him. I did, did for sure. I ate his salad, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Wait. Not Take, like an actual salad. Because yeah, that, he's a grass trainer. Yeah, that's a it, grass trainer even, pun. <laughs> yeah, I didn't, mean, I didn't mean his ass or anything like that. Yeah, he meant his dick. Oh, God. Come on. Good lord. <laughs> keep, it, keep it PG. <laughs> okay. I don't know, we're cussing and you're saying keep PGs, I don't know. HBO After Dark. HBO After Dark. Showtime. <laughs> I love that song. Alright, I'm going to... Alright, we're done. So I'm outside the gym. You want to go ahead and save here and we can end it? Oh yeah. Um, so that we're picking up. Next episode we'll be uh, battling it out, so... <clears throat> Oh, yeah. Then. All right, I'm ending. All right, guys. Uh, thank you for watching, and do not forget to tune in next episode to watch me whoop Morgan's ass. Huh.